Hey Samson, say hello to your South Korean fan. Oh, how you all doing, man? This is Samson Dauda, the Nigerian Lion. I'm coming to you from a <laughs> tight hotel room in South Korea. And I just want to say I'm so excited to be here, man. Seriously. Although I haven't seen Korea out, but not, you know, just outside my window. That's all I've seen so far of South Korea, but it looks beautiful, man. And I'm looking to get out of here finally by the end of this week and kind of check out and see the scenery of South Korea before the show next week. But first and foremost, man, I want to say hello to all the South Korean fans out there. South Korean body beating fans, man. You guys have shown me so much support since I've been here, man. I want to say, look, I've got all your messages. And trust me, man, they help, man. Thank you very much. And I'm sure, you know, I'm really appreciative of all the support I'm getting. Actually, you prepared the Tampa Pro shows. I heard that UK government didn't allow you to go US. Is that right? What happened to you? Tampa Pro. Uh, what happened? Okay, basically, the reason why I couldn't go to Tampa Pro, it wasn't because of um, the UK government. It was basically because of the US government, okay? So, the, basically, we did all we had to do. We got all our visa, we got all the paperwork and everything ready. You know, as I said, I've been prepping for that show, preparing for that show since January. And you kind of like, okay, we got did all the paperwork, got our visas, head to the airport, and we were basically told by the US guy that was there, that they weren't aware of us, of us coming, so they wouldn't, they can't allow us to fly. And we kind of sit there with all our paperwork saying, look, there's nothing we can, look, everything is here, why can't we fly? And he said that basically they haven't been informed of our, our arrival, they haven't been informed that we were coming, so they won't allow us to get on the plane. So you can sort of imagine that, you know, I'm obviously disappointed and I'm trying to talk to this guy and I'm there for four hours trying to explain the situation and tell him, look, can you, surely you can do something to help. But the guy wasn't exactly, you know, he didn't want to know. He didn't really want to look into or help, help us out in any way. Maybe, maybe he didn't like bodybuilders or something, but he definitely wasn't interested and he definitely wasn't willing to help us. So at the end of it, basically, we end up just kind of like spending time there trying to, you know, plead with him to just like, look, can you just help us sort this out and just help, you know, find some information and just kind of sort everything out. But he basically said, you know, what? he knows we did everything we can do, but because they haven't been informed that we were coming, we couldn't, he's not gonna, he can't let us fly. So that was basically just a big disappointment with Tampa Pro. And yeah, you know, it was disappointing and everything else. And he kind of like, he did kind of knock us down a bit. But you know, it is what it is, man. We believe that things happen for a reason. So we just kind of just took it on the chin in a painful way and then call it a day from there. It seems you gained tons of muscles. We want to know how different you're gonna be compared to 2019 season. They say I've gained a lot of muscle. So what is the difference between my physique, what I've done last year and what I have this year? Now, between last year and this year, I think we're about 10 pounds heavier than what we were in between the shows. But the case is we weren't focusing on size this year. We didn't have size as our main goal. Our main priority, which was the feedback we got last year, was basically we needed to bring in a lot more tighter conditioning, you know. And that was basically, that's been our focus this whole prep is dialing it in and really bringing that details and that conditioning that we kind of, our physique is longing for to kind of play, break into that top mode in, in shows. So this whole year is just been completely about, you know, look, we got to dial you in. You have to bring in that conditioning. At the same time, it's improving the back poses, you know, want to really bring out a thicker and a wider back. So we basically spent, since 2019, we spent the whole year coming through this year, just focusing on training our back and trying to bring more thickness around that point of it, you know? So it's literally been improve your back and bring the best condition you can. And that's what our big focus has been this whole time. So yeah, so it's not as much as it is, I think I'm coming in at about 275 pound this weekend, even though, yeah, we could have been in at 280, but just to make sure we really dialed it in, I'm coming to 270, I mean 275. So yeah, so for us it's basically, you know, it's all about conditioning, you know, that's conditioning win shows and you cannot be big if you don't have the conditioning right, you know. So it's all about that this, this year for us. What do you think after watching the Tampa Pro shows? Many people expected that Ian, Hunter and you are gonna battle for the title. Tampa Pro competition, how do you think you would have done? Okay. And what did you think of the Tampa Pro? Now, uh, I watched the Tampa Pro show, obviously, and saw the lineup and saw the list and everything else. And I think, you know, for a fact, I knew we were bringing our best of the show. I know for a fact, you know, that we definitely would have been in top mix, you know, top three guys fighting for that spot. 
a hundred percent. You know, I just felt like you know we knew we've done our homework, we knew we've given our best, and we knew what we we're bringing to the show. And it's just unfortunate what happened. What happened, and you can obviously say, well, this could have happened and that could have happened. But I know for well that looking at the lineup and looking at what we were bringing, it would have been a freaking top fight for that top, top three spot. That's for sure. You know, but it is what it is. You know, you can always talk about what could have happened, what should not happen, but. It is what it is, so don't really want to dwell on that too much, it, you know. Just focus on the future, focus on our next show, and bring it our best then, so. Did you see the Sung Chul Lee? Many people expected that you and Sung Chul Lee is gonna battle for the title. What do you think about his physique? Yes, I do know him. And what do I think of his physique? Look, I do know him because I've seen him, I've been following him for the past, I think about two years now. I remember seeing him the first time. He did um, the NABA. Naba Universe and won the Naba Universe about two or three years ago and he looked phenomenal then I had a friend that competed at that show at the time and he told me about him so I did look at his physique and he was very impressive man a lot of muscle on the frame you know very great legs beautiful big arms you know the wow factor you know I gotta say that and yeah you know coming to this show I know that it's obviously a big uh, debate between a challenge between me and him fighting for that spot and you know what, man, I say, look, let's get on stage and we'll see what happens, you know. Anything can happen, so any man can be anybody at a, at a given day. So I'm hoping he's bringing his best and I'm bringing mine. And we're just going to give you guys a battle and give you guys a show on that stage, man. So if you're here and you're watching this and you know you're looking forward to this show, do not miss it. It is going to be a battle. That much I guarantee you. On that stage, it's going to be a show that you do not want to miss. So... Pay attention because something great is coming. You know, it's going to be fun next week. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, man. Definitely looking forward to it. How could you maintain the beautiful streamline and vacuum with the massive size? It's about my physique. How have I been able to put on so much size but yet keeping my lines and being able to hit poses with a vacuum and everything else? And can I give any tips towards that? Now, it's, um, it's quite a simple one for me because no matter how much we've grown over the years, the one goal was, you know, never sacrifice your shape, your structure, and your lines for size. So we've been very cautious in terms of, in the off-season, we made sure that we do not blow things out. We always stay within reason of what my body can handle. You know, in terms of diet, in terms of training, we push as hard as we can, but we never lose control of our midsection. We never lose to the point where, you know, things looking, okay, you're putting a bit too much water or too much thing on. We always keep things tight, even in the off-season to a point. So I think that sort of helped us out a lot coming through the years of building our muscle where no matter how much bigger we got, our lines still stay there. Our shape is still the same. Our waist is still 32 inches. Everything else is still pulled in very tight. And it's basically, it's one of my biggest strong points. So it would be very ridiculous for me to lose it trying to chase neither the size or trying to chase something else, you know? So I've always got to keep that. And it's always my priority to keep that as I, we grow into the show. You know, as we grow from year to year, it's basically just keep that structure and don't lose it because it's one of my greatest strengths. Now, we're pulling the vacuum is something you have to practice over and over and over again. You know, first thing in the morning, every morning, when I go brush my teeth in the off season, in the prep, whatever, I get in front of the mirror, you know, I lean over my sink, I control my abs, my stomach, and control, you know, my, dom um, my diaphragm. I blow the air out as much as I can, expand your belly, and then squeeze it in as deep as I can. And I do that several times just to work out my diaphragm and give me the ability to suck my midsection in as much as I can. So for people that want to know how you do that pose, this is what I suggest. Every morning, regardless of whether you're off-season or prep, before you have your meals, just bend over your sink or table and then just play around with blowing your stomach out and pulling your stomach in and working your diaphragm so it gives you more strength and it builds it up as it because you build up like a muscle and you have that strength to pull your midsection in a lot tighter and even when you're standing there your midsection is always in control you never have your your stomach hanging out so it's one of those things we've always done since i ever i mean i think i started doing the vacuum since 2016 you know and since then it's one of those things i've done every year regardless of when i'm 310 pounds in the off season i'm still doing the vacuum Regardless of what I'm prepping, I'm still doing the vacuum. So it's one thing I've done consistently without fail. So that's why I suggest always practice it over and over because once you get it, it's something powerful to have, especially on stage. Obviously, you have to be isolated in two weeks. 
How's your training and diet? How am I going to prep in isolation for two weeks before going into a big show? Now, it seems like this is, seems to be the most shocking one for a lot of people is basically how am I going to manage to do stay in a hotel room, no training, no weights and, you know, just rock into a show afterwards. Now, you have to understand, first and foremost, we were already stage ready for Tampa, which was two weeks ago. Oh, I think, yeah, it was two weeks ago. And for me, it's, it's a simple one. All I got to do in the hotel room is maintain my muscle. And maintain my condition while I'm here. So diet, basically, you know, people say, oh, why don't you get dumbbells ordered? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? If you know the government facility here in Korea, you can't have food brought to you. You can't have weights brought to you. you. We've tried all this thing to have asked for things and no, they're not having none of it. You know, I'm in a room on my own. They don't want anything else. But we've been lucky because the prom show promoters, they've been absolutely great. They've managed to send me some protein shakes. They've managed to send me a box of egg whites. They've managed to you know, send me a microwave and everything else. And I basically, I've used that to kind of keep my diet on point, which is something I'm very, very grateful for. I mean, they've really pulled, pulled together and helped me out to get me into this show. So I've got to tell them, man, you guys, the promoters of the Monster Gym Show, thank you so much, man. I'm so appreciative for having me here and actually supporting me through this. You know, And that's basically helped me through my prep. Now, in terms of training, you got to remember, Two weeks is all you got to maintain your shape for. That is something that is difficult. Yes, it's very hard, obviously, but you got to be hungry, man. You got to be hungry. You got to be willing to do whatever it takes. You're going to push yourself, you know. And for me, it's okay. I got to train my upper body wherever way I can in the hotel room. Be it through push-ups, pull-ups, you know, upside-down shoulder presses, dumbbells, but, um, uh, bands, whatever I can to find in the hotel room to make sure that I keep that muscle full and keep it active i don't need to break boundaries i don't need to lift heavy weights to build muscle at this point all i'm trying to do is maintain what i already got so in theory that's more easier than me trying to build muscle and trying to do anything beyond that all i have to do is basically maintain the shape i already have so that's all we've been doing it's already been seven days well, now is the eighth day so we've already managed that for one week and now we're coming to peak week and you know, I just got my release papers, my checkout papers today. I'm obviously, I'm officially being released on Friday, mid, uh, on, yeah, on Friday. I can officially leave the quarantine hotel and actually go to a proper hotel and go to a proper gym and then get ready for the show. So, you know, for all the, oh, I hope that this answers all your questions. And you know what, guys, I am looking forward to seeing you all at the show this weekend. Yeah, it is this weekend. I'm actually looking forward to the show. To catch you guys on the show this coming weekend. And you know what? If you see me, please come say hello. You know, I'm, I'm loving being here. You know, I've got so much support from South Korean fans. And I really want to show my appreciation and give that back. So if you see me, please come say hello, man. Because, you know, don't be afraid of a big black dude. That's nothing to worry about. Just come say hello. And I'll show my appreciation as well for all the support I've gotten. So, guys, look forward to the show. It's going to be an amazing time. And... Yeah, let's do this, man. I'm excited. So all the fans in South Korea, all the bodybuilding fans and bodybuilding supporters, thank you very much. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon, right? Take it easy. Peace.